Aesop Fables, Volume 6 The Eagle and the Jackdaw An eagle, swooping down on powerful wings, seized a lamb in her talons and made off with it to her nest. A jackdaw saw the deed, and his silly head was filled with the idea that he was big and strong enough to do as the eagle had done. So with much rustling of feathers and a fierce air, he came down swiftly on the back of a large ram. But when he tried to rise again, he found that he could not get away, for his claws were tangled in the wool. And so far was he from carrying away the ram that the ram hardly noticed he was there. Moral Do not let your vanity make you overestimate your powers. The Wolf and His Shadow A wolf left his lair one evening in fine spirits and an excellent appetite. As he ran, the setting sun cast his shadow far out on the ground, and it looked as if the wolf were a hundred times bigger than he really was. Why, exclaimed the wolf proudly, see how big I am. Fancy me running away from a puny lion. I'll show him who is fit to be king, he or I. Just then, an immense shadow blotted him out entirely. And the next instant, a lion struck him down with a single blow. Moral Do not let your fancy make you forget realities. The Raven and the Swan a raven saw a swan and strongly desired the swan's beautiful white feathers. Thinking the color was due to constant washing in the water the swan was swimming in, the raven left his perch and went to live in the lake. But washing in the lake's water had no effect on the raven's color, and as he could not fish for food, he perished. Moral Change of habit cannot alter nature. The Two Goats Two goats, frisking gaily on the rocky steeps of a mountain valley, chanced to meet, one on each side of a deep chasm through which poured a mighty mountain stream. The trunk of a fallen tree formed the only means of crossing the chasm, and on this not even two squirrels could have passed each other in safety. The narrow path would have made the bravest tremble. Not so our goats. Their pride would not permit either to stand aside for the other. One set her foot on the log. The other did likewise. In the middle they met horn to horn. <laughs> Neither would give way, and so they both fell, to be swept away by the roaring torrent below. Moral it is better to yield than to come to misfortune through stubbornness. The Wild Boar and the Fox A wild boar was sharpening his tusks busily against the stump of a tree when a fox happened by. Now the fox was always looking for a chance to make fun of his neighbors. So he made a great show of looking anxiously about, as if in fear of some hidden enemy. But the boar kept right on with his work. Why are you doing that? asked the fox at last with a grin. There isn't any danger that I can see. True enough, replied the boar. But when danger does come, there will not be time for such work as this. My weapons will have to be ready for use then, or I shall suffer for it. Moral Preparedness for war is the best guarantee of peace. The Stag and His Reflection A stag, drinking from a crystal spring, saw himself mirrored in the clear water. He greatly admired the graceful arch of his antlers, but he was very much ashamed of his spindling legs. How can it be, he sighed, that I should be cursed with such legs, when I have so magnificent a crown? At that moment he scented a panther, and in an instant was bounding away through the forest. But as he ran, his wide-spreading antlers caught in the branches of the trees, and soon the panther overtook him. 
Ben the stag perceived that the legs of which he was so ashamed would have saved him had it not been for the useless ornaments on his head. Moral We often make much of the ornamental and despise the useful. The Mice and the Weasels The weasels and the mice waged a perpetual war with each other in which the weasels were always the victors. The mice thought that the cause of their frequent defeats was that they had no leaders set apart from the general army to command them, and that they were exposed to dangers from lack of discipline. They therefore chose as leaders mice that were the most renowned for their intelligence, strength, and counsel, as well as those most noted for their courage, so that they might be better marshaled in battle array and formed into troops, regiments, and battalions. When all of this was done, and the army disciplined, and the herald mouse had duly proclaimed war by challenging the weasels, the newly chosen generals bound their heads with straws, that they might be more conspicuous to all their troops. Scarcely had the battle begun, when a great rout overwhelmed the mice who scampered off as fast as they could to their holes. The generals, not being able to get in on account of the ornaments on their heads, were all captured by the weasels. Moral The more honor, the more danger. <laughs>